going on everyone so today we are looking at leak code number 876 it's a question called middle of a linked list um, this this isn't that difficult of a problem but I wanted to put this up because it deals with a very very important pattern that comes up over and over and over again in different problems when you're dealing with linked lists so we'll go over it and we'll, we'll first check out the brute force way of doing this and then we'll look at a more efficient uh, approach to solving uh, this problem so the prompt here is, given a non-empty singly linked list with a head node, return a middle node, return a middle node of the linked list. There, if there are two middle nodes, return the second middle node. So here we have an input of one, two, three, four, five. We want to return this three here because that's the middle node. And here we have a, a, a an even length list of six and we want to go ahead and return the second one which is four the second middle so the two middle nodes are going to be three and four we want to return the right the right middle node okay so let's take a look at a brute fo brute force way of approaching this we're going to have a list of one two three four and five okay and a brute force way of approaching this would be just get the length, iterate over the entire list, and get the len. So we can say len is going to equal 5. Okay, and then we want to just get the middle index, where what we want to do is we can say midx is going to equal the floor of len divided by 2. Okay, this will be 5 divided by 2 which will equal 2.5, we'll floor it, which will equal two, and this will be our IDX. And so here we have our zero, one, two, three, four. Our middle IDX will be that two, and that'll be our middle node. And this works, there's nothing wrong with this, approaching it this way. We are doing two passes into the list, okay? So we're gonna iterate over it once to get the length, and then we're gonna iterate again uh, to get the um, the middle index. So we have a time complexity of 2n, O of 2n, okay? Which which is fine. I mean, it, it abbre abbreviates down to O of n. Uh, so there's nothing wrong with it. But, the, you know, there is an optimal way of solving this, and that is if we use two pointers. Okay, so let's just go back here and we'll check out a way to do this with two pointers. Okay, so now the idea behind two pointers is, is we wanna have a fast pointer and a slow pointer. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and change colors here. And I'm gonna say we're gonna have a fast pointer and we're gonna have a slow pointer. And the way this works is every time we increment, we're gonna move the fast pointer two spaces and the slow pointer one space and we're gonna traverse through the entire list until the fast pointer is either at the last node or at null. And again, at the end of this, we're gonna have a null value here. So the fast pointer either has to land over here or over here. And it, when the fast pointer lands at any of these two spaces, we can assume that the slow pointer will be at the middle of the list, will always be at the middle of the list. And we can test this theory out. We'll do it with uh, an odd number of, of nodes here. So here, if we move the fast pointer two spaces and the slow pointer one, we again move the fast pointer two spaces and the slow pointer one, we can see that the fast pointer ended here on the tail node over here, and the slow pointer landed in the middle node, okay? Now let's just look at one other example of this. Let's say if we have an even amount of nodes, so we add a six here. Okay, so now we have six nodes here and we don't want this three now, we want this four, right? We want the middle node that is to the right. Okay, so let's take a look at a fast and slow pointer approach in solving this. So here we have our fast and here we have our slow. And again, every time we increment, we're going to increment the fast two nodes, and we're going to increment the slow one node. So here, the fast is going to increment two nodes, slow is going to increment one. Fast is going to increment two nodes, slow is going to increment one. 
fast is going to increment two nodes and it's going to hit this null value at the end here and slow is going to increment one more and you can see slow ended right on the middle node the rightmost middle node okay so what is the time complexity of this well it's just linear it's n okay so we can say o of n and what is our space complexity well it's constant there's no there's no extra space that we're creating in re in relation to the input Okay, so that's our time and space complexity. Let's go ahead and code this up. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to create a fast pointer. We'll just set it to head. We want to create a slow pointer, and we'll also set that to head. And then we just want to traverse, and we just want to say while fast is true and fast.next is true, we want to increment fast twice. So fast is going to equal fast.next.next and slow is going to equal slow.next. Okay, and once we once we hit that base case of the while loop, we break out of the while loop, we can always assume that wherever slow is at is indeed in the middle of the list. So we just go ahead and return slow. Okay, and let's see, what did we do wrong here? Fast slow, fast.next.next, slow. Ah, second and here, you want two ampersands. Okay, and that is link list or uh, leap code number 876. Now, some things to remember. This may seem really easy and it may seem trivial, but I, I want to assure you that that knowing how to use fast and slow pointers is really, really important because when you get into cycles, cycle length, um, loops, uh, any of those things when you're dealing with linked list, this pattern will actually save you a lot of headache. Uh, it's just it makes solving any of those problems that require uh, that information very very easy to get and very efficiently uh, in a very efficient way to get that information as well so highly recommend being familiar with this pattern that is leap code 876 middle of a leap uh, linked list and i will see you on the next one